materials one steel pan one one teaspoon measuring spoon five different oils this is olive oil this is groundnut oil this is sesame oil this is um, refined vegetable oil and this is coconut oil take one teaspoon of groundnut oil and put it in the pan this pan is at room temperature simultaneously turn on the heat and start the timer and watch until the oil starts smoking at the point at which the oil visibly starts smoking turn off the timer Now I can see slight smoke coming out but it's not that visible yet so when it becomes a lot more visible as now you can see right now stop the timer and turn off the heat. There's a lot of smoke coming out right now. We can also use our sense of smell to know that the oil is burning when the smoke is coming out and that's another way to measure that the oil is at its smoke point instead of using the instead of using temperature you can see here uh, hot the hot oils viscosity is a lot thinner you can see over here cold oils viscosity is not that thin so we need to repeat this two more times to get trials two and three to make sure that the first trial wasn't just a fluke we need to make sure that the time range of uh, when the oil starts smoking is similar after that, we will take an average of the three trials and that will be our final result for groundnut oil. Here is the data table in which we will input our information. As you can see, we have taken one trial for groundnut oil and I have inputted that over here and that was 1 minute 24.88 as seen in the timer. So we will take two more trials as seen in the previous clip and get an average of it. You also need to make sure that the pan cools down before use, uh, doing the other trials. This is important because it gives us the most accurate information. Having a hot pan and uh, trying to heat it again will lead, uh, will lead to the times being lower and not getting an, uh, an accurate reading. Trial 2 of groundnut oil. You can see the oil smoking. Trial one was not trial two was not successful. It's not the same as trial one. This is trial three of groundnut oil. Start. We'll keep about one second as the gap between when we start that because it's not that accurate You can see slight smoke. Yep, I can see. Now I have three trials. I will calculate the average and input it. To calculate the average, I took all the three trials, added them together and divided them by three. In this case, I converted them from minutes and seconds to seconds only. And I got the result of 262.3 and I divided that by three to get 87.433 and that the, I made the average of 1 minute 27.44 seconds.
for groundnut oil to reach its smoking point. After cleaning and cooling down the pan, we move on to coconut oil. So let's take one teaspoon of one teaspoon of coconut oil, like so, and put it in the pan. I think I'll just reflection. Okay, now I can see the smoke. We stop the timer at 138. Don't turn it off. So if you can see the smoke right over there, you can see some smoke coming out. And we can actually smell some of the coconut oil as well. As you can see, there's a smoke. And we turned it off. Trial 2 of coconut oil. So we have coconut oil right here. Cool pan. And we put the coconut oil into the pan. And this is one teaspoon, by the way. Have you ever seen coconut oil so viscous? That is the normal room temperature coconut oil. This is heated coconut oil. It's so viscous. Look at that. Trial 3 of coconut oil. 1 teaspoon of coconut oil. As you can see over here. Wait, that wasn't proper. Yeah, that's 1 teaspoon. And in the pan. Now we are moving on to sesame oil. This is trial one of one teaspoon of sesame oil in a cold steel pan. Trial 2 sesame oil, 1 teaspoon to a cold pan. Trial 3 sesame oil. Now we move on to refined sunflower oil. So we take one teaspoon and put it in the pan. I can see smoke right now, light smoke coming out. Look, you can see right over there, smoke is coming out. So the time was about 2 minutes and 12 seconds. So this takes the longest. I told you, right? <laughs> Trial 2 of uh, refined sunflower oil and in a pan. So one teaspoon in the pan. Okay. 
Trial 3 of refined sunflower oil. So this is the last oil, extra virgin olive oil. We'll take one teaspoon of it, like so, and put it in the pan. It's sort of a green color. So you can see over here, this is sesame oil and that is olive oil. Look at the color difference. This is a lot browner and this is like a lime green. Ah, you can see a little bit of smoke. Can the time also? Oh no, I don't see any smoke anymore. Why? Okay, I can see smoke now clearly. Yeah. You can see smoke right there coming out. So the score for this is 2 minutes 11. Trial 2 of extra virgin olive oil. One teaspoon in the pan. Trial three of olive oil. That's one teaspoon in the pan. So here are the final results for the experiment and I've filled in vegetable oil and olive oil for 2 minutes 15 and 2 minutes 13.7. So out of all of these we can see that vegetable oil has the highest smoke point. So what has happened here is the safest oil which is vegetable oil also happens to be the most unhealthy and on that terrible disappointment it's time to end. Thank you so much for watching and goodbye.